Welcome back everybody. So today I just got a quick little unboxing video and initial impressions video, all right? Uh, in the mail yesterday, just arrived. The Terra Onion Neo SD Pro model. I recently sold my old Neo SD in anticipation of this coming and the day is finally here. So let's open it up and we'll just take a quick look at what we got. All right, so comes in a little, little cardboard case. All right, let's go through it and see what we got. Oh, here it is. Sending it, it's in a hard snap lock box like the more recent AES games. Neo SD Pro, the ultimate flash RAM cartridge for Neo Geo AES. For the same experience as official retail cartridges. Awesome. So for those unfamiliar, this is a Neo Geo flash cartridge. Basically, it takes an SD card that goes inside of it, and you could put all the Neo Geo ROMs onto that flash card, and basically you have every single game in the Neo Geo library all on one cartridge. And it, uh emulates all the real Neo Geo chips that are in the different AES cartridges or MBS cartridges. Um, in fact, I think it uses FPGA to replicate those chips. So you, this is as close to the real thing as you can get if you don't actually own the cartridge. All right, let's, let's open it up. So just again, and it's cool. This is actually like a clear, I don't know if it's coming through, but this is kind of like a clear plastic case all right let me snap the, the box unlocked here oh cool so yeah this is this is like a cloudy black or cloudy gray storage box that you can actually see through oh that is too cool Oh, cool. So the instruction manual is similar to an AES regular manual, the square manual. Let's see what we got. Oh, it unfolds. Okay. Okay. So we got all the information. How to operate it. Everything it can do. And also, I should mention that with this cartridge, um, even though you're playing on your AES home console, you can put it into MVS mode and play the arcade versions of the games. Because remember, all Neo Geo games have the information embedded in them for the arcade version, the home version, plus the different regions, English, you know, Europe, Asia, all the different uh, region areas. So you can switch that all with this. So for example, if you wanted to play Samurai Showdown, you would pick the Japanese version because it's uncensored, it has all the blood, whereas the American version is censored. So here's your little instruction manual. Okay, this is really cool. This is not like a booklet or anything. This is, um, I guess, just the back of this, but it's, it's see-through and it's pretty neat. All right, so, so the cartridge now, they got it wrapped, a little bubble wrap here. Set it to the side. Oh, 
There it says Terra Onion. Pretty cool. Beautiful box. Beautiful box. I mean, they did a gorgeous job. Gorgeous job with this. I'm sorry for the glare. So let's look quickly at the cartridge. Pull it out. Oh, this is sweet. Look at this. The cartridge, see-through cartridge, like a, like a frosty black or gray. There's the label. You can see this printed circuit board. Look at this. Terra Onion. Designed by Terra Onion with love. Oh, there's a lot of love in this. Oh, here goes. Oh, this is interesting. This is a change. Let's look at the side here. So what do we got here? We have... What is that? It's like an eighth inch jack or a 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm not certain what that's for. Maybe it's for games like Riding Hero where you can link up to different cartridges. I may be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, here is your SD port where you put your SD card. And this looks like a mini USB. Um, I guess maybe for transferring some sort of data or maybe for... I don't know. Not sure exactly what that's for, but probably not going to be for the casual user. Casual user is probably only going to be inserting the SD card. So I just wanted to do a quick little unboxing. Um, review to follow. Terra Onion. Really cool. Been very excited about this coming out. Main difference between this cartridge and the previous flash cartridge is that this one has four slots. You can store four games to play. Three of them will boot instantly. Um, if you preloaded it, the fourth one, the fourth one is interesting. The fourth slot, I forget what it's called at the moment, but it'll allow you to very instantly pick a, pick a game to boot up. So, for example, say you picked a big game, King of Fighters 2003 or something along those lines, where normally it might take a couple minutes to flash that, this fourth slot is like instantaneous. It'll boot very quickly, right into the game. But... It is not available when you reboot the system. So that's that's the that's the difference. So the first three slots, you have to flash the games to them. That may take a couple minutes, but then they're locked in permanently. And they will load instantaneously whenever you start the system. You could pick, you know, game one, two, three, and it'll go right to them. Game four, while you may be able to pick it on the fly, oh, I want to play King of Fighters. 2003 real quick but i don't want to wait five minutes for it to flash boom it'll get you in but if you shut the console off that game is now lost you would have to pick it again so interesting very cool how they did that uh the old one was just you know one game and you had to wait for it to flash and it could take a couple minutes or you know however depending how on how large the game was so this is the neo sd pro been anticipating this for what feels it's got to be a couple years now they've been talking about it so beautiful piece very excited i will do a review thank you guys for watching i just wanted to do a quick unboxing like i said it just came in the mail yesterday thanks for watching uh please click the like button subscribe Hit the bell for notifications. I'm trying to get some good content out there. Thank you again. Have a good one.